Hi, this is Gary Schwartz, and over the course of a few presentations, I am going to present optics and refraction. And optics is uh, considered basically how light rays behave, how light rays act. And refraction is a specific task that we do to try to um, help people who have refractive errors, either nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism, to try to help them to see better using lenses. So optics is really kind of a science, whereas refraction um, is really it's a, it's a task. It's something that we do to help people. Okay, when we talk about optics, what we are measuring is called vergence. And vergence is probably a new word uh, for most of you out there. So vergence is something we measure. If you think about it, it's like other things we can measure. We can measure distance, right? Or we can measure um, mass. Or we can measure time. And these are all things that we are used to measuring. Um, and, if, and we have units of measurement for each of them. If we want to measure distance, we can do it in meters, or we can do it in feet, or we can do it in miles. We have different units of measurement for to measure the distance of something. If we want to measure mass, we can measure in grams, or we can measure in kilograms. If we want to measure time, we can measure in hours, we can measure in seconds. Um, and if we want to measure vergence, we measure in diopters. And diopters are abbreviated with the capital letter D. So diopter is the unit of measurement for vergence, just like kilogram is a unit of measurement for mass or a meter is a unit of measurement for distance, uh, and so on. So this is what we are measuring. We are measuring vergence, and we are measuring it in diopters. Great. So all well and good. So what is vergence then? Vergence is really how light rays um, behave to one another, essentially. So the convention that we have is light rays, individual rays of light are represented by arrows. And these arrows move from left to right, because that's just the convention that we have. So each arrow is an individual light ray, and the area that they make up is the beam of light. Okay, So we can have two rays of light that are parallel like this. right? We can also have two rays of light that move away from each other over time, and we can have two rays of light that move toward each other over time, or over distance, however you want to think about it. When we have the red one on the top, when we have two rays of light that move apart over time, the light is becoming less bright with distance, with time. And what I mean by that is if we think of a flashlight, right? Let's see if I can draw a flashlight here. And the flashlight is emitting this light. And when we are close to the wall with the flashlight, the circle of light on the wall is pretty small in diameter, but the light is pretty bright, okay? So if we step farther away from the wall, the circle of light is bigger, but the light in that circle is dimmer. So the light is becoming less bright over distance. The farther the screen is from the light source, the dimmer the light gets, okay? So in a sense, we're losing brightness. What happens down here in the black is the opposite. Here the light at the start is, cover, is covering a very large area, while at the end is covering a very small area, so the light gets brighter. Okay, And another way to think of it is, let's say we had 10 rays of light in this beam. These rays of light are pretty spaced apart. Each ray of light compared to its neighbor is far apart. 
But toward the end, we have the same 10 rays of light, but now they are much closer together. They're more closely packed, and therefore the light is brighter. Okay? All right, let's clear those out. Okay. So this top one, this red one, when the light rays move farther apart from one another and the light gets dimmer over distance, this is called divergence. When this happens, the light is diverging. And this bottom situation, the black one, where the light rays are getting close together over distance, is called convergence. And this middle one, where the light rays look the same here as they do here, nothing of interest is really happening. The light rays are just kind of traveling along. And if the first one is like a, if the red one is like a flashlight, then the blue one is like a laser beam, where the light rays don't diverge or converge. Here, the light rays are just parallel. And the astute among you will see that the word vergence is built into these two words, divergence and convergence, and that's what we're measuring is the vergence. Okay? Now, in the case of divergence, because the light is getting less bright with distance, once we start applying math to this, which we'll just start doing in the next presentation, we use a negative number. We use a minus sign. And in the eye clinic, we say minus. We don't say negative. And in the bottom one, where the light is getting brighter with distance, it's getting stronger in essence, we use a plus sign. So mathematically, when we start to define um, with numbers what's going on, when we have a diverging light situation, we'll use a negative number, and when we have a converging light situation, we'll use a positive number. Parallel light, because nothing interesting is happening, two parallel rays of light do not have vergence. They're neither diverging nor converging, so the mathematical value will be zero. Okay, in the next presentation, we'll start to apply some uh, numbers and we'll start to get into some real math. Thanks.